Alan Ackerman is playing Lori, and Lori is the female superhero that we have in our group, in our new Watchmen group, and she is second generation superhero. Her mother was a superhero. Carla Gugino is playing Sally Jupiter, and she also, she's Lori's mother, and um, she's from the old school of superheroes, the same as Blake. It's funny because Carl and I, you know, we're, we're so close in age, we never thought, we just thought, this is going to be crazy, you know, you're going to be playing my mother, how is this ever going to work? But it worked out quite nicely, and, and I think it just became such a natural relationship between the two of us. I think it, there's a lot of the element of living through her daughter, which is, you know, a classic mother-daughter dynamic. Even though she has been overbearing mother and she's projected a lot onto her child and even though there's a lot of tension in our relationship, in the end of the day she'd give her life for her in a second. The interesting thing about Sally is that she represents to me any sort of the golden age of superheroes, you know, that where they were almost like movie stars, right? No matter how fantastic her costume was or no matter how much she loved to pose for a picture, she still was putting herself in danger. She mm. still was out there actually getting the bad guys, you know, and using her feminine wiles to do that. She wasn't going to be a housewife, which at that time was what people expected you to be. But that was not in her DNA at all. You know, by the 1980s, she's in her mid-60s and there's a lot of sort of drama that's self-induced and she's also been through a lot. There's a lot of pain there. You know, you see her mother, who's a broken down woman, who's been through a lot, and Lori comes out sort of and, and breaks that cycle and comes out on top. Lori sort of resents her mother for pushing her into the being and a superhero. But it's only through the course of the film that she realized that, you know, it wasn't her mother, you know, it was her. You know, you watch Silk Spectre and, and she fights like a man and she's a strong, powerful woman and kind of gives that female power, that woman power that myself as a woman just kind of go, wow, that's really cool. We've got the best people training us. The choreography is it, it's incredible. The stunt coordinator and, and all his team, you know, they, they started training me and I wanted to do the stunts. I didn't want to have my stunt double do it. I, I wanted to do it. I wanted to feel it. Once she gets her costume on, like the old days, and she's standing there in the fuck burning building, you realize that this is her gift, you know, is that this is what she does. You know, she, she pretty often kicks ass. It's awesome.